Hello everyone and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we're taking a look at two Imaginex 2 packs from the DC Super Friends line. We have Aquaman and Black Manta and Wonder Woman and Cheetah. Now I've been looking for these for quite a long time. These are relatively new 2 packs, but I don't know, Imaginex distribution is kind of weird. A lot of times things will show up in Canada or the UK for a long time and they just don't show up over here or vice versa. And these were newer packs that just kind of ended up bypassing normal stores like Walmart and Target and started showing up at Tuesday mornings of all places. Now I think they might have also been spotted at various places like TJ Maxx, Marshalls, the secondhand stores, things like that. I guess I shouldn't say secondhand because they're still new. But not the, I call them like the second tier stores, the outlet stores. Um, so it's weird. I don't know why they bypassed Walmart and Target, but... As you can see, these things are $3.99 at Tuesday morning, so I'm okay with it. Just had to wait a really long time for them to eventually show up. Now, if we take a look at the back of the packaging, uh, it shows how they're kind of meant to work with this, like, versus bat cave that they came out with. That's why you get one hero and one villain in each pack. There's actually two more uh, packs like this. One is Superman and Lex Luthor, and one is Flash and Reverse Flash. Now, the Tuesday morning I went to, I think they did have Superman and Lex Luthor, but I decided to pass on that because I have so many Superman and Lex Luthor figures that I really don't need anymore. I would have picked up Flash and Reverse Flash if I could have found them, but alas, they did not have that one. But I really wanted to grab these two. One, because I wanted a Cheetah figure for quite some time without having to pay an arm and a leg. And I really like the sword and the shield that Wonder Woman comes with in this set, so I'm excited for that. Over here, I don't have a proper Black Manta. I think I have Black Manta without his helmet from the second wave of the blind bags. But, I mean, come on, Black Manta, you need the helmet, right? I mean, that's what we, that's what we came for. We don't need helmetless Black Manta. So, really excited to get a hold of this. And I think the Aquaman color scheme looks pretty good. I think the only Aquaman I have is also from the second wave of the blind bags, which he has the black outfit instead of green. So, really excited to pick these two packs up, especially at this price. So again, taking a look at the back of the packaging here, not too much to write home about. You have the picture, you have a little blurb if you'd like to pause that and go ahead and read it. Otherwise, these packs were meant to work with this Batcave, which in my opinion is kind of a boring Batcave because it's just kind of a rock'em sock'em robot setup. It seems like to me anyway, I passed on that one. But, the two packs that came out of its creation are fantastic, so let's open them up and let's take a closer look. All right, so here are the two packs out of the packaging. We're going to start over here with Wonder Woman and Cheetah. Now, again, they both come with accessories, which is a consequence of that uh, bat cave battle thing that they're supposed to work with. But it's just kind of a nice coincidence because they both look fantastic. Cheetah looks really good. I've wanted a version of Cheetah for quite some time, and I have to say they did a pretty excellent job. You have a little bit of the Cheetah patterning on each of the limbs. Her face sculpt looks really nice. Nice paint there on the face. The head movement is a little hindered because of the hair. I honestly, it might move a little bit, but I'm not even going to try. The arms are kind of thin, but they still have the normal shoulder articulation and wrist articulation. I just always get a little bit nervous with these thin arms. And then she has the normal 90 degree articulation in the waist. But really solid figure, nice paint. Really great job. This is a really nice version of Cheetah. And she comes with this kind of spear which I swear we've seen before from like one of the ninja or samurai themes. I'm pretty sure this is just a reuse, not a new weapon of any kind. Let's see if I can get her to hold. Eh, she's not holding this all that well. I feel like she was holding it a minute ago and it was no problem. It's these weird chain link pieces. You just kind of have to find the right balance. But yeah, maybe this arm will work a little bit better. Yeah, she doesn't really hold this weapon all that great, I have to be honest. It's just kind of weird. If you hold it down a little bit farther, no, it's still not that great. So it's a little better, but not that great. Wonder Woman, on the other hand, is great accessories. And I have to say that I really feel like this uh, outfit they gave her is kind of an homage to the uh, movie Wonder Woman. And it also makes sense why she comes with a sword and a shield, because she does use that in the movie as well. But really nice detailing. They did a great job, and I love the outfit they put her in. The gold paint is very, very nice and sharp. The head can move, but the time I moved it, it kind of almost felt like it was breaking, so I'm going to go ahead and leave it. Again, she has the normal shoulder and wrist articulation and the bend at the waist. But I love this sword they give her. I think this looks absolutely fantastic how the hilt has the double Wonder Woman W's there. 
So I really, really like this sword. And the shield she comes with is also pretty cool. Whoops. Double W's on there as well. And then just a very simple shield grasp. You can kind of have it straight forward. You can kind of turn it to the side if you want her to hold it like that. Now it does make her a little front heavy. So it makes her want to fall forward when she's holding these two uh, weapons. You just kind of have to bend her a little bit at the waist so that she leans back a little bit. And then she can stand pretty well. So that's a really great two-pack. Both figures look absolutely fantastic. And I love Wonder Woman's accessories. Really well done over there. Now taking a look at Aquaman and Black Manta. We'll start with Black Manta. Really excellent detailing. I don't know if you can see, but like the... The arms have this texture here, which is very similar to Aquaman's shirt, which we'll get to in a minute. And then you can see like it's it's textured in between the parts of the armor of his suit. The helmet looks fantastic. All the red silver paint there, really, really nice. And I like the trident that he comes with. He's got standard articulation in the shoulder, wrists, and waist. He just doesn't have any head articulation, but I completely understand and it's okay with me. Really excellent detail here and a really nice figure. Very happy with him. This uh, Aquaman is also pretty fantastic. Love the texture here on his shirt. Like the green and the kind of fins here on his arm gauntlets. He's got this weird green stripe on the side, which I think looks a little weird. But I also like how the fins are molded into the back of his legs. And the orange is just really bright and fun. And again, he comes with a great trident accessory, so... Another really excellently molded and detailed figure and painted absolutely fantastic. Love the smirk on the face as well. So I gotta say, these are two absolutely fantastic two-packs. If you can get these, head if you have a Tuesday morning nearby, I definitely recommend checking them out and see if you can find these because they're absolutely fantastic. I'm still going to try and find the Flash and Reverse Flash, but like I said, I think I'm definitely going to pass on the Superman and Luthor, but those figures look pretty good as well. I highly recommend these two packs. Great characters, great designs, great paint applications, and the accessories are pretty much fantastic. With the exception of the spear for Cheetah, but it's okay. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and as always, thank you so much for watching.